political parties are working hard to turn out the vote here in Southern Nevada. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez shows us how. Historic participation in early voting in Nevada. A million people have already cast their votes, and now both political parties are in the home stretch to grab every last vote for their candidates. Across the state, Nevadans are breaking records, voting early both in person and by mail. Clark County has not been the exception. More than 55% of active voters have already cast their ballots here. Combined, uh, we're already over uh, 700,000 votes cast in Clark County. Now, crews are preparing for Election Day. We will have 125 uh, vote centers open for people. And poll workers are making it easy for voters who already receive a ballot in the mail to drop it off at any of those locations. And on the back of the envelope, make sure you sign that and then bring it to the ballot drop box and, and you don't have to wait in line, just drop it off and go. But with tens of thousands of people who still have yet to vote, both the Republican and Democratic parties are ramping up their last minute efforts with community events, phone banks, and even going door to door. The most important thing is the message you've been delivering for these gentlemen and for our ticket is the message that we will come out of this successful. We as a Democratic Party want everyone who can vote to make sure they get out and vote. And we'll do everything we can to earn every vote possible. You can still vote by mail during this weekend or you can do it in person this Tuesday. Remember that you have to be in line by 7 p.m. to be able to cast your vote. Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News. And if you plan to vote on Tuesday and want to see how crowded those polling locations are, well, there's an app for that. Now Crowd has a polling feature that will expand to show the 125 Election Day locations across Clark County. The app reports that nearly 4,000 people in Clark County use the polling feature during early voting. And it's also important to remember that if you're in line by the, by the time that polling places close on Tuesday, you will be able to vote. And we have more information on our website. Just go to KTNV.com and click Election 2020 at the top of that page.